What's up, YouTube? On tonight's episode of Day in the Life of a Plumber, we've got a leaking drain off, which has had three visits. First visit, we uh, refreshurized the, well, the boiler was losing pressure every 48 hours. We refreshurized the expansion vessel and tested for PRV for passing because there was no leaks on, or any visible leaks on any radiators. But the pipework dropped under the floor on this one on a suspended wooden floor. Second visit, we isolated the flow and return on the boiler for the 48 hours and monitored the pressure gauge on the boiler. Obviously this tested whether the it was the boiler itself losing the pressure or the system. It didn't lose any pressure, so it was on the system. When he opened the flow and return valve as a client, it lost its pressure. So we then decided to take up some laminate floor, some trap doors, and found a leaking drain off. So we're repairing that first. Then we're on to a sticking TRV, a shower thermost thermostat, tip cartridge to change. I've forgotten where I've been. A basin waste which is leaking. A fog on noise coming from a toilet. Most of you know what that is. And a service on a boiler which turns out to have a gas escape. Hope you enjoy it as usual. Please hit that thumbs up button, drop a subscribe, and thanks for watching. So this is a leaking drain off job they've got to sort out. Just taking the pressure off the system using this radiator drain off as it's closest to the door. And here's the drain off in question. Sometimes the washer itself gets stuck inside the body, but thankfully on this one it didn't. There's the old one, it's just all perished and rock hard. If I tried and tightened that up, it probably would have just broken to pieces. Drip stopper in there. Stopping excess water, keep pouring out under the floor. New washer on. Get a chuck back in. Now that's all tight, just got to repressurize the system, dry it off and test for leaks. So we're on to this one now, a customer saying this radiator's not working, so we'll find the thermostat. It's hiding behind there. It says it's on though. Stuck. So we'll get that freed off. A little bit of WD-40 in there. Give it a tap and hopefully it'll ping out. Through. It's not 
other side. Oh, perfect. So, stuck thermostat. Crank that back round to full. Job done. So this one now, faulty thermostatic cartridge, which the client's got, I if it's the right one. Although this is plastic, that's brass. I'm not quite sure how it comes out yet. I've just put a bit of WD-40 in there to let this come out, and it has. Come off. It's got a little lug there to go into there. Looks the same. Grease these up. Push back again. Saved. Bad event long those players. See? That was a good one. Poor man's Coca Cola. Is it the toilet? <laughs> Get that swapped out. No more. Oh, go on. So, I do want to go in.
I've got that on P1, isolate the gas, just test the gas valves, not passing. Oh dear, new gas valve required. The old silicone out of this. Controversial, but I silicone on the top. Get that on. Then you're not. Spin up. Untie. Most it off with one of them tissue. I'll get a big wipe and wipe the rest of it off now. Press your foot back up. Spin on. <clears throat> Connect your track back up. Get that washer's alright. See how it goes, if not I'll put a bit of PTFE around it. Stand tight in these. No need to dog it up. Dry it all off before you test, because this is wet for me. If it's gonna leak, it's gonna be that. That washer on this one. People will say let so we can go after 20 minutes or so, but we ain't got time for that. Right, 
running things around fast things today. Weeps. I fill the bowl up. And drop it with a full base then for hot water because hot water tends to find leaks more than you called. Someone else is running top at the same time. It's your bread and butter job, Steve. Perfect. On to the next one.